Sometimes children are unkind or disrespectful. Let's talk about that because there are some solutions that we want to employ here that will change the tendencies. Remember, the heart contains tendencies that people have when triggers come into their lives. And sometimes children are unfiltered and they have this belief that if someone is being mean to me or I don't like what someone's doing, then I have the right to just dis display my displeasure. And that is a wrong belief that needs to be changed. Your beliefs also are in the heart. So let's talk about this. I, I think that there are two tools in particular that we use as parents to help our children deal with unkindness and disrespect. One of those is teaching. I think sometimes we sit down with a child and we talk about how disrespect and unkindness make a statement about the person who's issuing those things. It makes a statement about their hearts, that their heart is moving in the wrong direction, that somehow they believe they have the right to be unkind or disrespectful, and uh, that needs to change. It turns them into an ugly person. It, it um, Other people see that and develops this negative reputation. So it's very important for children to move away from this disrespectful and unkindness. It reminds me of what Paul says in Ephesians 4.32. He says, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. Children need this, and teaching is one of those tools we can use in order to help children. But sometimes you need more than teaching. And so I would suggest that firmness is also a very important tool we use as we're trying to help children make these changes. Firmness uh, moves, as soon as we see the disrespect, we stop talking about the issue and we move to the process. The process is the way you're treating me. The issue is that I'm telling you you need to go work on your homework or I'm calling your name away so that you can come away from the video game right now. And when we hear the disrespect or the uh, unkind words that are being said, we're saying, well, we got a problem here. And we may then have a child take a break or we may have to correct the child, but we're moving away from whatever we were trying to get done and we move to the process. The process is this, uh, the way that you're treating me right now. I, I think sometimes parents continue to dialogue with their kids while they're being disrespectful and inadvertently validate the disrespect. We have to change our parenting perspective or, or approach when children are off track and they're being disrespectful or mean, then we're going to stop the way we were parenting and trying to get things done. And now we're going to talk about the way we're treating one another. We're saying, no, nope, we can't do that. What you're doing is wrong. And we're drawing attention to the process. Now we can do this by giving a consequence, certainly. Sometimes we do it by what we call the observe and run technique, which is simply making these observations for a child who is uh, continually being mean or continually being disrespectful, we might just walk by and say that was disrespectful and keep going. We don't always have to, to have a confrontation, but one idea might be to just give the child feedback for a while that helps them see that the comment they made to their brother was unkind or the, the comment they made to us was a, a form of, of meanness or disrespect. And when we do that, we're starting to form this platform upon which we will take some further action at some point. So uh, making using the observe and run technique sometimes works. It's just a way to give feedback. The point is here, we're not going to continue to allow this to grow because what happens is that children who are disrespectful or unkind often grow more into these behaviors. Some parents think they're just part of a phase, they're going to go away. But we know that children often grow into this disrespected meanness, and it can be quite a significant problem in a child's life. So we're going to use some different ways to point this out, to correct for it, and to say, we're not going to live this way anymore. We're going to make some changes here. And as you do, then you're going to target this specific area to bring about some of the kindness that's necessary in a child's life.